Let's build ambient music using the sequence app inside Ornament and Chrome. The first thing I'm going to do is adjust the sequence length and start to add notes and mutes. You can change the length by clicking the last note and dragging it. Muted notes are represented by dots or outlines of bars. Both sequences are using Subharmonicon's first sequencer as a clock source, but only the first sequence is triggering the envelopes. I'm going to connect the second sequence to the second VCO to create harmony. I'm using VCO2 as a sort of baseline, so I'm going to set the clock divider to divide it by 4. This will also make the whole pattern feel longer. To add even more variation to the pattern, I'm going to use the second sequencer on the subharmonicon as a step CV source to transpose the first sequence. I'm using an attenuator so that I can fine tune the amount of transposition. I'm also going to use that CV to modulate the scale mask on the second sequence. Once I get the bones of a sequence that I like, I usually slow it down and start working on getting it to sound good. I'm not just lowering the tempo, but changing the rhythms of the subharmonicon. I've got an attenuated LFO going to the PWM of VCO1. I'm also playing around with the octaves of each sequence. Since we aren't using the pitch CV from the subharmonicon's first sequencer, I'm going to add it to CV2 on the ornament and carbon. You can use it to add even more modulation to the sequences. Here I'm going to transpose the second sequence in the octave range of the first. do here is change the quantization from Dorian to pentatonic major. It doesn't sound great as it shifts from one to the other, but I think a major key is going to fit the vibe better. The final big thing that I did here was change the extra two channels on Quadrat to create a mix of the subharmonicon's main output as well as VCO2's output, so that the dry VCO creates a sort of lead on top. I like the way it floats on top, but if I want to modulate the amplitude I have to get creative because there aren't any VCAs in the case. For me, I've got an IntelliGel low pass gate to use. I'm going to use the second output of the second sequence, which defaults to a quick gate, 
where you can change the pulse width or have it be an envelope. You're going to use an attack release envelope to hold the low pass gate open for longer and have it sound a bit more natural. pretty much the entire patch. Listen for my description is all the knob playing to get it to sound good along the way. I'm gonna let it play for a bit. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.